Here's a story on uh, ISRO's latest mission in its first space mission of 2024. The ISRO launched the X, uh, X-ray polarimeter satellite ExpoSat today. The satellite lifted off at 10 past 9 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan uh, Space Center in Sriharikota, Andhra Pradesh after the Chandrayaan-3 and Aditya L1 mission by the Indian Space a research organization. This is yet another historic step towards space exploration by the country. Using X-ray photons and their polarization, ExpoSat will help study the radiation from near black holes and neutron stars. Through this, this satellite, India becomes the second country in the world after the United States to send a specialized astronomy observatory of the specialized kind to study black holes and neutron stars in our galaxy. The ExpoSat has been launched by India's trusted rocket PSLV and has been placed in the intended orbit. Here's what ISRO chief Somna had to say. So happy new year to all of you. So on 1st January 2024, yet another successful mission of PSLV has been accomplished. PSLV C-58 has placed the primary satellite ExpoSat in the desired orbit. 2024 is going to be a year for Gaganyan readiness. Of course, Gaganyan manned mission we have targeted for 2025. If you are able to do everything in 2024 very well, that target uh, uh, will become difficult. So we have to focus on what you want to achieve in Gaganyan for 2024. So to have details, uh, the beginning of the Gaganyan program started with the TVD1 mission of the abort mission. We have four in the series, at least two more we must do in 2024. So that is our target. So th uh, by that we will have the three abort missions demonstration. Then we must do at least one unmanned mission. Our target is to do two unmanned missions beginning of next year, this year, as well as end of this year. The new year started with a big bang. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully launched the ExpoSat from Sriharikota. And the ExpoSat is a very special satellite for studying black holes and neutron stars. So the new year came with a very good news that the Indian Space Agency successfully launched the ExpoSat into space. The ExpoSat is a very specialized satellite which will study black holes, neutron stars. And before this, a similar satellite but of a slightly different nature and ExpoSat is a very complex machine was launched by America's NASA. So India becomes the only the second country to have a polarimetry experimental satellite or an observatory in space. In this time when there is much talk of hat tricks, today the Indian Space Agency or ISRO also played a hat trick. And the hat trick goes something like this. First came the Chandrayaan-3 satellite which made a successful soft landing nearer the south pole of the moon. And then India launched the Aditya L1 mission to study the sun, which is get, getting closer to the point where it will have a continuous view of the sun for a, a long period. And today, the hat trick in the form of the ExpoSat being launched in space. So the Indian Space Research Organization doing a celestial or a scientific hat-trick of a kind. The ExpoSat will help Indian scientists decipher many mysteries and secrets of the universe. The Indian scientific community and the global scientific community is very excited by the use of the data which will come from ExpoSat. Startups are equally excited because they get an opportunity to do low-cost or no-cost experiments on a very tiny, almost like a space station, which is Indian in nature. A wonderful New Year gift by the Indian Space Agency, which continues to mesmerize both India and the world. 
in new delhi pallav bagla for ndtv